Uh, what we're going to do is just um, for the purpose of, of the three guys that went for the dram grade and I picked an Anko as their uh, specialised kata. Um, I'm going to give a couple of insights insight about it. It's just purely my thoughts on some of the kind of close range applications of an Anko uh, and how they can apply, be applied in nice simple to learn drills. The guys can then take this, work on, uh, fit it to their own body structure and their own mindset um, following the principles of him down now, quick effective um, applications, uh, whether it's slightly longer distance or shorter distance, but the, the principles remain the same. Okay. So the, the cards we look at is an ankle, and very uh, quickly just to, to run through it, and it's already on the, the web page. We have 45 degree angles, thrust coming out, shows both sides, full 180 degree turns with the hand movement. Coming into different stances, hands coming up, striking, coming forward, out at other 45 degree angles, dropping the, the weight. These are all done fairly fast and we get some slow bits, but again the stance, both hands working. And the slight variations in how people, uh, different styles, different clubs perform the kata and uh, apply the kata. I'm just going to get my interpretation of a lot of these moves put together. Okay, so first of all, using 45 degree angle and the thrust. Following up straight away with arm smash, chuda buke, dropping into stance, and then hold their neck crank either side for the, the punches. Okay. Doing both sides, practicing both sides. Coming then into this section here, where we're in a shorter stance, hands come up, they come down, and then you come forward. A couple of different options. Um, from a close range perspective, either putting the, the, uh, the attacker's hands up and striking, then doing a, uh, an arm ring throw uh, to, to disable them, or to, to knock them down, or just thinking of the one hand coming up, striking, grabbing, pulling, striking. Okay? Coming even closer with this, bringing the arm up, striking, bringing the knee in to uh, disrupt the balance as part of the stance and then striking down. Okay. Following on from these moves, we've got a 45 degree angle, uh, a true down okay, that shows it to do both sides and double punches. So taking from a grab, well this is the, 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 the danger, and we move out, strike, strike, one punch and pulling this arm back in to disrupt his balance right in at the neck. If I want to hit him again, and then I'm going to step down in behind and either smash him with the elbow as I keep control of this hand to disrupt his balance on the chest, the chin, or even just right the way across, pull round, and then I move back and smash him with a gate and drive going down. So that sequence uh, from there to there. Okay. The next part of the sequence we have is is the, the step forward, lunge, lunge, oizuki, whatever you call it. Move back slowly. One, two, three, four. And again, keeping with the context of, of being at close range, I'm going to bring this hand down and I'm going to smash him, hopefully in the face, either with the elbow, whatever. But if I end up in this position, I'm going to slide this hand round. I'm going to pull back, drop my weight, and put a neck crank on from here, so I have control of them. And obviously, for safety, that is done slowly, okay, I'm only going to go here with my partner. If I wanted, obviously, we would go the full, the full weight, which is going to cause some considerable pain. From there, I'm going to move forward, I'm going to get the full kick out, but I'm going to knee, okay, and, and strike in, in the, the middle region. Pull this 
get a ride back to smash and to start the turn. Okay, turn them all the way around. So I'm utilizing the punch, the pulling and pushing movement of the hands to turn them. And I've got his back and I can then control the arm and put on the true down. Okay, from here. Okay? To control him from there. <coughs> the next part we have after we've done from here, one, two, three, four. As we turn 180 degrees, we lean out and we move back down to here. Okay. And again, it doesn't really matter. The, the importance of this is that it needs to work first time every time. I use the principle of moving out, put one hand out, uh, and the other hand coming back. One from here. Now whether I strike here to disrupt his balance, uh, to, to um, have some impact, or whether I bring the hand across the throat, it doesn't really matter. For safety, I'm going to imagine I've struck him here, but I'm going to hold on to his shoulder. And the next thing I'm going to twist round and bring the left hand down where the right hand meets. Okay? And then strike from there. Okay, which would be this part here. The next thing we're going to do is the, the hold from here, the move around one, two, three. And there's lots of different applications we can do for this. And uh, lots of different things I've seen and lots of different ideas. We use the principle, uh, for example, an attack we're doing, right? what the attack is coming in from here, just bring the hands up, the flinch reaction, and then start striking away. It's absolutely fine. To make it slightly different and to bring in this side by side motion, we can either continue from this bit here, where I've got him down to this point and he hasn't gone all the way down, he starts to correct himself or turn in towards me. Okay, and I keep his head and I move him this way, back way, and then I pull him round and I get into this position where I've got the um, one hand up and the other hand across. Okay, can't hold him here forever. If we can choke him, great. If not, he struggles to get away, which we can take into a bit of pretense. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to strike any way I can, using these movements coming out, whatever way you've seen it. Next we have a raise of the hand, okay, in this position, and a lower punch. I'm going to keep my elbow in at the back, and I'm going to raise the hand to disrupt his balance going back the way. And I'm going to help him by striking down his lower rumbar, and lumbar region. And then I'm going to turn 180 degrees, grab his face, and throw it down into the ground as I went with um, the same movement as a tune I'm okay. Well, it comes out this way or that way. Okay. And we have the option to do that either side. And finally, just to tie off, we already have this video up on our site, is the, the close range application for the kick, the punch, the move back. And the downward movement. I'm keeping this, just move back this a little bit, George, from a close range application. And again, either side, it doesn't really matter. One straight kick and use that sweep down uh, and the movement back and the drop of the weight. Grab the head, smash the head into the ground, and then move away. Okay. I'm Jamie Gray, and you've been watching Masashi Karate with George King. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Say something about Jamie, quick. <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> Nobody? Put that down, boy. <laughs>